Fallout 3 is a flawed game. There is no doubt about it. It has a mediocre story, a lot of characters are horribly bland and dull, the combat is awful if you fight without the VAT system, etc etc. But what Fallout 3 achieved, and what is the reason I will always love the game, is atmosphere. Fallout 3 is a masterpiece when it comes to atmosphere. It presents the player a dark, depressing, merciless, post-apocalyptic world, which achieves to suck the player into it. Starting with the tutorial sequence, or the intro of the game. Make no mistake, I believe that game design-wise is an absolute mess, but that's not what we're talking about here. You are led to believe that there is nothing for you out there, that life under the ground in a safe cozy vault is the best thing for you and the best you can hope for. But all of that changes the moment you leave Vault 101 and see the devastation nuclear bombs deliver to this state. The moment that you feel that you are alone out there and there appears to be nothing left but dead remains of a former society is just breathtaking. The small town of Springvale absolutely destroyed, barely one real house left standing and an iBot which plays patriotic American music passing by. Not one soul around, except for yourself. And then you see Megaton and wonder, what the hell is that ugly rusty thing? The answer? One of the last places in Washington that has a society. It has civilization. And you eventually enter this place and talk to Lucas Sims, the sheriff of this little town. And you ask him questions about what has happened out here for the past decades while you were living safe and sound under the ground. He starts talking. But the one thing that really sticks out is him saying that you want to stay in the west and avoid the east. East being the place where they see the capital of the USA is located. The place is a war zone, he says. And man is he right. The feeling you get when you are in DC is the first thing I think of when someone mentions Fallout 3. You can feel the ruins, the destroyed skyscrapers corroding around you, devastated but still intact for super mutants who kidnap and mutilate any human being they see to run around them, engaging in combat with the Brotherhood of Steel. Reaching the capital, you've already listened to Galaxy News Radio and its charismatic host 3Dark, who talks about restoring humanity and giving advice on how to survive in the capital wasteland, what to be afraid of and what not to. He's a voice in the darkness, talking about the good fight, explaining the Brotherhood of Steel is trying to achieve that. And man, after you see all these places, slavers, raiders and people fighting over fresh water, you begin to question yourself, what am I actually doing here? What is the purpose? You want to join that goddamn good fight. It's things like this that make me love this game, that it's possible that this game can offer this experience for me. To have this feeling in this moment. Fallout 3 might not be a great game, but it delivers an intense, dark, authentic, post-apocalyptic world which I can get sucked into, even if it has a lot of flaws. Yeah.